Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my playthrough of Breath of Fire 3. This might be the final episode, so... I think for what's up ahead... I should... Try and see what my stat boosting items are. Oh, this one raises agility, so... Let me use that. Alright. Defense. I'm gonna put down Ryu. Alright, this one raises willpower. I'll put that on Ray. Alright, max HP. Momo could use it. Ooh, power food. I'm gonna put that on Ryu. Alright, intelligence, Momo. And where are the proteins at? Huh. Let's see, Piranha Panacea. I don't see proteins anywhere. Oh well. But, yeah, Ryu's now got power 360. Ray's agility's now at 96. And Momo's got more health than before. So, yeah, it's time to head down this, this ladder. Hey, honey? Where are you going? Yes, I believe I had not been making use of my items, well, my stat boosting items at this point, up until just where you saw that video. Huh, yeah. Yeah, I might as well use these berries on Momo. I'm not going to be using them anytime soon. And we got two new enemies. The Mist Man and the Revenant. Mist Man has a chance of dropping Mist Armor. But you can't crack him more than can't use physical attacks on him more than once. And with Ryu, I want Kirei because the Revenants are also... Well, the Revenants are devils slash undead. Yeah. And it didn't work! Maybe... Ryu's intelligence isn't high enough. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh. I barely survived that. Yeah, I'm resting up. And I think Ryu's intelligence is too low to make use of the Kairi. So I'm going to make a change. Yeah, it's time to put it on Mo back on Momo. There. Let's try this again. Huh. 
Hey, honey, what's that? Yeah, there, there are four new enemies in this area, and in the area before the sample area. Well, I could face the samples, huh? Oh, honey, what are you doing here? Yeah. Oh. Hey. Uh, okay. Highest level functions. Oh, library mode. Hmm. What secrets does this place have? Well, I guess I get to find out. I mean, there's Miss Man and. Revenant, which you saw and saw my party nearly get wiped out by. There's also the Night Bat and the Vampire. And uh, who's that? Oh, the Almighty Goddess. Oh. So that's Miria. So I'm guessing Tipo's made his journey all the way here. Of course, Goo King runs away again. Oh, hi. Oh, so just keep going then. Hmm. Oh, before the, the world was dying, the wounded earth was being covered by sin. Wait, the certification. Is this Radiant Historia? Hmm. Oh. Oh. Really, Miria used all of her divine power. I don't know. Some of what I saw here isn't divine. What? You divided the world in half. Oh, the desert of death and the ever. Hmm. Overflowing one. So one half is life and one half is death. Is that what you're getting at, Miria? Hmm. See the steel beach, Urkintapa, Angel Tower. And there's the relay point. Hmm. So... So the ocean is what separates the two halves. Are you, are you one of those the world is flat believers, Miria? Oh, the ocean protects the world from the desert. <sighs> Alright, so might as well continue going this way. Nothing there. Hey. Hmm. I don't have such a good feeling about this, but... I can't go that way. I can't go there. Yeah, I'm going to have to continue on. Hmm. Gotta go down there. Alright. Is Miria's desire to protect life? Oh. Wait. It's... Oh, even a monster's life is sacred to Miria. Well, seems like you let those monsters grow too powerful. Yeah, you sound like the guy that says all lives. <clears throat> yeah, you're one of. Hmm, in order to protect the life she's so loved. Many forms of safeguards and controls. Hmm. Well, it seems like your safeguards and controls aren't working. Control technology. Huh. So, 
so much of... Oh, it washes up on our side, you planet. Oh, no danger machines like weapons are developed. Um... Might be too late. I mean, the monsters are the weapons. Oh, well, honey's not a weapon. Oh, so you've banned learning about technology. Oh. Yeah, m I got a feeling Miria would ban books if she had the chance to. And I think I'm supposed to go this way. Yeah. Okay. Oh, the eyes glowing. Wait a minute. Is Miria the goddess we saw at the beginning? Uh, right? Wait a minute. We... We didn't tell you any of our names. Hmm. Huh. Well... Well, nice to meet you, Miria. Yeah, so... Yeah, it's been a long journey. We... We've got questions. We're hoping you got answers. Though I got the feeling I'm not gonna like your answers. Because it seems like you've decided on your specific truth and want to enforce that on everyone. Hmm. Wait. So... This world is just a small speck to you. Hmm. Well, yeah, we noticed there is a bit of water. Hmm. Well, almost... Huh. <laughs> yeah, Nina almost survived. Wait. So... You've separated the world... To one of life and one of death to try and spare the one of life. Is that what I'm what you're getting at, Miria? Oh. So your idea of preservation is Well, you're kinda of creating the monsters that, that are leading to its destruction, Miria. I mean, we have seen all the Wait, the brood are the danger. Well, what about those samples in your lab. Get this feeling that... Hmm. Oh. Oh, of course. Leave everything to... to one grand eating and worship them as a god. Hmm. That... Huh. So, you're the reason the ocean. So, you're saying the world's being desertified and you're the only one holding it back. But it sounds like you're creating more problems than you're solving. I mean, you could try just. Well, getting rid of that desert of death. Instead of separating the world from it. Yeah, you forget how ingenious the people on the on the other side of the continent are. The well, other side of the world. Hmm. Well, isn't that our choice to make, Miria? Yeah, but you're you're 
your station is all the way out here in the desert and it's far more technologically advanced than in our side of the world. Hmm. Oh. Well, so far we haven't. Except for that plant that was making mutants. Hmm. Oh, so you've deliberately shrunk the world. Ah. I know, now there's only a couple of machines. Ah. Hmm, so. Huh. Wait a minute, you were unable to protect them. You're keeping the desert, the world from, this, from becoming desert and saying you can't protect them? Hmm. <sighs> All right, so that's exactly what she's saying. Hmm. Yeah, but what proof do you have that of that? I mean, you eradicate an entire, almost, almost eradicate an entire race of dragons under the guise of protection. Yeah, I mean, yeah, similar to Tipo. <laughs> yeah, so it's either, either, either die or live in solitude. Neither is a good option. You got a point, right? Hmm, I don't know. Huh. Well, one person being in control of every single thing, not a good idea. You have to be practically perfect, and no one is. And that doesn't sound pretty benevolent. Yeah. Yeah, it's like you decided you didn't like an entire group of people and wanted no competition. Hmm. Well, maybe you can solve the problem of the world becoming a desert. A problem you seem to help create. Uh, wait a minute. What are you doing, Miria? Huh. Oh! Ray. She wiped out Ray with just a thought. Uh, no. We came all this way for answers and you're going to just make us forget the questions we're asking? Momo! Huh. Oh. Well. Huh. Oh no. Huh. Nina's power couldn't protect her from Miria's thoughts. Huh. Well. Well, it's like she's erasing everyone from, from existence. Kiko. Oh! Hey, Gar's back somehow. Wait a minute. Was this Pico's power all along? Yeah. Seems like... Oh. 
had a little onion friend. Oh, we had Yggdrasil on our side all along. Yeah, for we found a mightier deity than you, Miria. One who understands the value of the value of every living thing in the world. You seem to rule for power under the guise of benevolence. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we crossed the desert, crossed an ocean, fought your creations. Hmm. Well. Huh. <sighs> well, yeah, it's time for me to make a decision on what to do. And. Huh. I guess choice is give up my power or fight God. Hmm. What do you mean? The pa it might be the power the world needs. You never consider that once, Miria. Oh, now, now you're kneeling down. It's like you're begging me to, to choose you. But what, what decision will I make? I think next episode will be the finale. So until then, I want to thank you for watching. And I hope you have a good day. So until then, stay safe. Be kind to each other. And treat your friends with love, care, and respect. Because they will stick by you to the end. Unlike the goddess Miria. Later, everyone.